This is an example of calculating the population skewness and population kurtosis. Find the population skewness and kurtosis of a continuous random variable x that is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. We have seen this distribution before. It is continuous and its probability density function is 1 and that is for x values between 0 and 1. If you were to draw a picture of the probability density function. Here is 0 and 1 and it is simply a constant at 1. It looks like that. Now that is a symmetric distribution about 1 half and because of that you can tell that the population skewness has to be 0 by inspection. We're going to go ahead and proceed as if we don't know that, and we will get a zero for the skewness, but we will do it as if we did not know that that was the case. So we begin with the population mean. So we want mu, and mu is the expected value of x, and that will be the integral over the support of x, which is from 0 to 1, of x multiplied by the probability density function, which is 1 in this case, dx. The integral of x is just x squared divided by 2. When you plug in 1, you get a 1 half. When you plug in 0, you get 0. So the mean is 1 half. You knew that already just by looking at the distribution. The balance point here, because it is symmetric, has to be at 1 half. So the center of gravity, or the population mean, is 1 half. Now the next thing is, using the defining formula, the population variance is sigma squared, and you know that that is v of x, and using the defining formula, that is the same as the expected value of x minus mu, the quantity squared. So in order to compute that, you take the integral over the support, which is from 0 to 1, of x minus mu, and you can see we put in mu of 1 half here, squared times the probability density function dx. I've spared you the details of working that out, but when you do work out that integral, it comes to 1 12th, and it's not too bad an integral to do because it is simply um, a function of x raised to a power. Now the next thing to calculate is the population skewness. Now to get the population skewness, you can see from its definition here that we need mu, which we calculated here to be 1 half, and we need sigma as well, and sigma, the population standard deviation, will be the square root of 1 12th. So this sigma cubed, which is right here, is a constant that can be pulled out of the expected value operator, and that will mean that 12 will get raised to the 3 halves power. That's multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1, which is the support, of x minus mu cubed. So you have x minus 1 half, 1 half is the mean, cubed times the probability density function, which is 1 dx. Again, I have spared you the details, but if you work that integral out, you will get 0, but we knew that ahead of time because we have a symmetric distribution. Moving on to the kurtosis, the, per, the population kurtosis is the expected value of x minus mu raised, divided by sigma raised to the fourth power. Now this sigma raised to the fourth power can come out as a constant. And you remember that sigma is 1 over the square root of 12. So that means 12 squared, or 144, will be out front, multiplied by the integral from 0 to 1, that is over the support of the random variable x, of x minus mu, x minus 1 half, raised to the fourth power, multiplied by the probability density function, dx. Again, I have saved you from the details here. This turns out to be 9 fifth. So 9 fifths is the kurtosis, the apple code that can calculate the mean, variance, skewness, and kurtosis is x is defined as a random variable with a probability density function of 1, 
a support that ranges from 0 to 1. This is a continuous random variable and this one right here is a probability density function. If then you call the mean, variance, skewness, and kurtosis functions, they will return 1 half, 1 twelfth, 0, and 9 fifths as the mean, variance, skewness, and kurtosis.